Alexander Pro is brought to you by Drev.se, service and spare parts for your fishing boat. JR Logistics, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. And Kingfisher Angelresen, fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. Sure, day was a lot of fun, but now it's time to re-enter the boats for the third and final day of Sander Pro. Yesterday we went full back to basics, but today we're going the opposite direction, as all types of vertical fishing and sharpshooting will be allowed. Going into the final day, Team Nace are big time in the lead after their phenomenal performance during Shore Day, but as they mentioned themselves, Vertical Day will probably be their biggest struggle, while some of the other teams are smack at the center of their comfort zones. Hello, this is Team Westin and welcome to the final day. Today it needs to happen. Today we are on another lake. This is Cappuccino Lake and it's uh, crazy how murky the water is. So, because it's the final day and we expect the other teams to go for big fish, we also go for big fish. We go for the big five and for the biggest sender from the day. Um, we're going to do sharp shooting today. And yep. because the water is so murky here, we are really going to try to use big lures, put it in the front of the sender's head and just hope that they will grab it. That seems to be a good plan. I have no confidence in this brown water, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honest, but uh, we have to give it a try because we are here now and we cannot lose too much time, so we're yeah. going to make the best of it. Yeah, it's a bit risky plan, but there are so many good sized sanders that uh, we have to keep trying all day. We might get a few bites. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Team Vestine are faced with strong winds and extremely murky water, but I still have the feeling that we'll see some big ones in their net today. Next up is CWC Fishing Team, aiming for an epic comeback after a disastrous shore day. Welcome back! Good Episode morning. 5! For us it's a lake day today. We are on a big lake in the center of the Netherlands. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots for perch, but also zender. We spoke to some uh, colleagues, fishermen at the ramp, and they had good results yesterday and the day before. So that gives us uh, high hopes. Uh, well, yesterday it was a total uh, for disaster. us. Disaster. But uh, today, new day, and uh, we are excited, motivated to go all in for a lot of zenders for you guys. So please support us, thumbs up, and be the best, catch the biggest. Today, vertical fishing is allowed, but not mandatory, so casting is still allowed. The teams can once again decide for themselves when to start their 10 hours of fishing, but the competition will end at 8 p.m. Let's see who catches the first fish of the day. Yep, first one. To bottom. There is a good fish laying on the bottom, so I try to drive the boat up of the fish and uh, hope we yeah, get some bite. Yeah, 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 it's super very close. close. Oh, yeah, very yeah. close, yeah. Just, oh, it's going. You can see it, it's moving. Didn't like the boat. They sometimes don't like it. Wow, that's cool, eh? Cool place. No reaction on the first encounter, so the search continues for the next one. While this way of fishing can be very effective, it can also be incredibly frustrating at times when you know there's a big sander staring at your lure, but no matter what you're doing, it just won't bite. Yep, there we go. That can see it. Really good fish. Good fish, really good fish. That's a super good fish. I can tell you that. Yeah. Take it, please, take it. Do something. No reactions. Nothing. It's not only in Finland that the wind is blowing hard. Team Roadhouse Fish are dealing with the same harsh conditions as they're entering the final day of Sander Pro down in Spain. Yeah, today it's a hard day because it's the third day, it's vertical fishing and uh, in the other team they are famous vertical fishermen. But it doesn't matter for us, we, we will do all our best and everything is possible. We had two good days, day one and day two with good numbers, so we need the number point today, so we will, we will do it. 
Zander Pro without the, the measure board. It's not possible. <laughs> Allez, marche arrière. Okay, guys, good luck. Merci, Yann. Zander board. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, everybody. This is the uh, third day. Uh, today, uh, the condition is uh, very hard. The weather is uh, very hard. We're going to try our best uh, to score the number of points. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. For the beginning of the day three, we're going to use two techniques. Tony is going to vertical fishing and I'm going to do linear fishing to find the, the active fish and to find the best technique of the day. So let's go. Uh, we're going to start uh, with the mud digger for vertical fishing. It's a very good bait for vertical fishing. I'm going to start with the black minnow in lemon color. It's my best one uh, for the last two days at the beginning of the day when the light is pretty low. So let's go. Oh, oh, crazy. Ooh, thunder. Ooh. Yeah, fish on. Fish. fish on. First fish of the day. Yes, first one of the day. It's a small one, but I think it counts. Yeah, first cast of the day. Fish! Fish! Yeah. In vertical fishing. Ça c'est cool, good job Tony. Net. Mais l'autre, mais là, ouais, tu le prends. Yeah! yeah. Ooh. It seems the fish are here today. First cast for me, first drop for Tony. And two fish. It's first crazy. Double of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, c'est fun! 52, the first fish of yes. the day. Wow, oh, it's a good start. Double. 52. 52, 52. Yes, it's a crazy start. Two fish, 252 for, for beginning two the cast, day. Two cast, two fish. Yes, small ones, but it counts. So it counts. Let's release it. Ready? We gotta keep on fishing. Yes. Starting the day with a double in the first cast is officially becoming a Roadhouse Fish Classic. After a few failed attempts, Team Mustine just found themselves another target. Super size. That's easily over 90. Easily. Crazy. Please take it. Take it. This is super hard hard because the wind is blowing so much. We've said it before but it's worth repeating. Just because you see him doesn't mean you'll catch him. I think we can catch this one. It's in total lockdown. Nothing happens. Yep, yep, reaction. There was a small reaction. Small reaction. Come on. Take it, take it, take it. Take, yep, 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 yep. It's coming, it's coming. Still coming. She super size fish. That's a super size fish. Please take it. Still coming. Oh shit. Almost. Almost. That was close. Over 90 centimeters at least. What the heck is the fish doing? Again, changes the direction. <laughs> I gave a lot of time for that fish and no reactions, no reactions, nothing. Once again, one of the best sharpshooters around was outsmarted by the Sanders despite using the most high-tech electronics. No wonder us mere mortals go blank every now and then when the fish are that inactive. The wind is picking up and it makes this uh, sharpshooting so, so hard. Uh, it's very hard. I mean, uh, we have seen a few fish. Many fish and many big fish. But they swim a lot and there is not, not much reaction. So it's uh, it's hard, it's uh, and it's time consuming. It's just hoping for this one big fish. I uh, choose to change my mud digger 
and uh, I uh, put on my line um, uh, black minnow, baby zander, and uh, let's see uh, if it does the trick. Fish! Yes, it's nice, a nice one. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, fish on. It's a small one. Beautiful sander. <laughs> nice fish. Gosh, I'm not sure that he's... Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, for six. <laughs> Black minnow. Let's measure this. 50. 64. Yeah. 64. Yeah. 64. It's good. Biggest of the day. Woo! Team Roadhouse fish are dominating the scoreboard with four approved fish, sticking to their habit of catching them two at a time. Very strong start for the French team with a top fish of 64 centimeters. CWC fishing team are also sticking to their habit of not catching anything. I'm sorry, that might have been a little below the belt. The night was cold in the Netherlands and the Sanders might need some time before they start hunting. The same is true for Finland where they also seem to be in full lockdown mode. Please take it, take it. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Come on. Please take it. Yes, yes. It's in. Can take a long time. So, so long this follow. Pelagic. So long follow. Whoa. Yeah, at least we have a one in the boat. The twenties, eight inch. This is my favorite for sharp shooting. Beautiful sander, beautiful white sander. It's uh, 76. Yeah, 76 centimeters. The first bite after two hours. Yeah. But it's a decent fish, 76 centimeter. So that means it's possible we get more. Yeah. And bigger. Yeah. But we see a lot of fish. They are very difficult to trigger today. We don't know why. We just need to fish very hard, uh, pelagic style. And you see, if you catch one pelagic, you have a big chance to have a good size fish. And uh, there are bigger ones. We have seen bigger ones already today. Yeah. So uh, yeah. for, this, for this cappuccino lake, it's a small fish. Yeah, let's put it back. Wants to go back. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah, good, good job, good job. 20s, 8 inch color slime. And we have a few rattles in the back and also in the tail. So we have a bit more noise in the water. So I think that's a good thing for Big Sender. And you like it with one treble hoop? Yeah, most of, the, uh, most of the time. Why, why you, you only use one treble hoop on a big, uh, big like that? It's uh, more nice to get the hooks off. Okay, okay. So you think they are biting to the head anyway? Yeah, most of the time some big sander yeah. almost take the whole egg. The whole egg, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's... Sometimes I use two, but one is okay also. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Number one is inside of the boat. So let's go for number two. Hello and good morning from Team English PSG and Quantum. Yes, it's the final day of Zender Pro. So we are on a river and we are not doing sharp shooting in a normal way. We fish uh, vertical jigging, something we like very much. And uh, well, we are after a big fish point and probably yeah. we can catch a nice number of Zenders, even though Spain will be very difficult to beat. But um, yeah, we are extremely excited and hopefully we can show you a very, very, very nice Zander. So this is episode five and uh, we see you soon with a nice fish in front of the camera. Okay, we have a new fish again. Yep. Here you see the fish, just above you see the lure. 
So now he's teasing the fish in the way and hopefully he will react. And you can see it on the, the symbol, the, the fish is on the ground. And it's fish we estimated around, uh, around 70, 75 centimeters. And he's coming closer, he's coming closer. This is new fish. That's a new fish. There are two, there are two zenders there. Yep, yep. Yep. Same size, same size. Maybe a bit more, a bit more. Oh. No, 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 it's around the edge. It's still on, it's still on. Yep, I net, 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 net. Yep. Come on, come on. Oh. 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 What, a, what a situation. What a situation was this? The wind was blowing the boat, so it came below the boat oh, and uh, around the... Oh. 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 <laughs> this was... Uh, very exciting moment. So, yeah. Uh, oh, they are biting so hard. You, you can hardly open this mouth. You see, ah, oh, shed completely inhaled. Completely inhaled. So now it's uh, suddenly it's. This is only five minutes after the first fish. Yep. Yep. Something is now happening. It's, now it's going the right direction, uh, my friends. I cannot. It, it, they have so much power in their mouth. It's crazy, eh? Yep. yep. Right. It's longer. Yeah, it's uh, 79. 79. Oh, that's good. 79. <laughs> yep. Okay, man. Oh. Yes. Number fish number two. Number two. Number two. Now we are talking. Now we are talking. 79 centimeters. It's an upgrader. And uh, now, yeah, we go for the big five now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a good feeling to have two in uh, five minutes. After two hours of, of, of searching, uh, yeah, I would say we don't lose too much time. I mean, yeah, let's, let's, can we go yeah, for the next let's one? Let's go, let's go. Yes, thank you, thank you, sir. Yes, gone, gone. Woo! Whew, crazy situation. Crazy, <laughs> because it. Check your line, if your line is yeah, not yeah. damaged. Uh, yep. You almost lost it, lost it. Yeah, but it's, it was hooked so good. I can do anything because no, no, I don't no, have no, to no, hand, no, no. hands to fix it the boat. Just, and, uh, it was just the situation. So yeah. If you catch two in five minutes, there is. Well, I'm gonna catch more now. That's uh, no yeah. I'm convinced it's possible. Yeah. When you do sharp shooting, uh, a lot of things can happen in a short time. Nothing, nothing, nothing for two hours, and then all of a sudden, two big ones in five minutes. Team Vestine will definitely be dangerous today. It is only one team uh, that we uh, have to be afraid of for uh, with this style, and I think that's uh, Freddy. Yep. I don't think the other ones yeah. are doing the pelagic style yeah, today. Think about the... Uh, so, and he uh, he knows that trick also very well. Yeah, but think about if there is same wind. It's not yeah, easy. Yeah, maybe they have it's also a lot of wind. So yeah. then it's for them, it's also difficult. But uh, my wife sent me a picture in Holland. It uh, has been frozen today. So maybe there's not frozen. so much wind. Yeah, for frost for the first night, so it, it looked very calm, so uh, I guess they have not so much wind that we have. Timo, there's ice on the boat. That was a cold night. Wow, first ice of the year. Welcome to episode number five. This is the third day of the competition and today we can fish exactly as we want. So that's cool. We can do pelagic fishing, we can do casting, we can do vertical fishing, whatever we want. Everything is allowed. So um, we start the day with some pelagic fishing, try right. to get some nice numbers of some, yeah, well, decent fish. And then later in the evening, we try to get some uh, bigger ones. Now we try to upgrade first. We we do five five decent fish and then we try to upgrade. Yeah, I think that's a good upgrade. strategy. We could also get some numbers. Let's see. The, yeah, let's see. the temperature yeah. went down a lot, so the fish is going to react very sensitive to this. I'm sure about this. Mm. But uh, let's see. We have some light. I like it for sander fishing here in this lake. So no wind. Yeah, no wind. That's perfect for us. Perfect. Let's go and get them. Ready. I'm going let's to search go. them now over the deep hole here. And as soon as we find the first fish, we will. Well, there's draw. actually already fish there's on the already, sauna. There's already fish on the sauna. Yeah. <laughs> small one. We are not so much interested in the daytime. Here we fish a river with tide and uh, we are now exactly at that stage where the water level is going down. So 
The maximum has been reached about one and a half hour ago and now the water level is going down which means we have some more active fish around for the next two to three hours. Hopefully we get then strikes. This is normally the dinner bell for the predators and um, to find the right groin, you know, between both long stone fingers, we call that groins, in which the fish is hunting. First, we need to be a little bit more like run and gun. That means I speed vertical jig a little bit, try to get the first strike. Once the first uh, fish appears, then we know where the active fish is and we can uh, focus and concentrate on this um, certain area of the groin. Some groins will produce fish, others not. Hopefully, this one will produce a few fish. Fish! Good. Instant action for Team Quantum Angel Spezi and it seems to be a decent one. Good gemacht, Patrick. But Patrick, that's a great job. So quick. It's a good fish as well. Yeah. Here we are. Bang! Bang! <laughs> On your Angel Spezi lure. Yeah. Take care of the fish and uh, I take care about yeah. catching more. First fish, 59 centimeters. Very nice start in the morning. Fishing two minutes. First fish. Angel species spring warm, so the fish can go back and we fish more. Here we go. First fish, here we go. Perfect. Team Roadhouse Fish had a great start, but after a short feeding frenzy, the party was interrupted by a heavy rain front and the action died. After trying several different spots, Stefan is finally hooked up to their fifth approved sander of the morning. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Mud digger strike again. Look at this. Yeah. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Let's release it. Hop là. <laughs> Twelve fish number five. We got a, a huge storm. It was pretty difficult to find the fish, but finally we, we find the spot with, with new fish, so let's continue. It's coming, it's coming. Whoa. Oh, it turned, <laughs> it turned. That was a good fish. Yeah, it's a big fish. That was a big fish. That was uh, already like an end of 70, beginning of 80, I think. Yeah. That was a really good fish. Good sign, yeah. So we are going to change a lot of baits today. I know that this water is really difficult. There's a high fishing pressure here. Loads of people are fishing. And um, we try some baits with some action. We try some baits without action. We have to try what the fish want and uh, try to figure out this as quickly as we can. There's a big fish. Wait. It's a good fish. And we're going to find a load of fish today. Another one. Another one there, yeah. But let's first take the bigger one here. Coming, coming, coming. Whoa. It's going for it. Yes! <laughs> First fish of the day. You need the net? Oh. Yes. Yeah, we should use the net. We maybe should for use the, fish. the net. Because we need numbers today. <laughs> Man. That was stupid. We should have netted the fish. Oh, okay. I just dropped the bait the first time. It was a 70, 70 centimeter fish. Yeah, yeah. We we'll catch some more, but uh, for yeah. the numbers game, let's net all of them, even the yeah. small ones. Get up, fast! It's moving so fast. And go again. Catch it, catch it. That's good, that's good distance. Can you please take it? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yep, take it, take it. You have to reel up a bit. Yep, like yeah. that, yep. Where's the net? Yes. 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 Oh, oh. Maybe good. 70. Oh, good bite. <laughs> Boom. Good bite. Yeah, you have to do like a little, that's it. Uh, then you get the bite. Number three, a very good bite. 
this kind of fishing is can be teamwork like it is now. There is so much waves, the wind is pushing the boat to every side and Hanu is really steering and I'm try, I try to tease the fish, just hold the lure just above the fish and when he is coming you have to lift a little bit and then you can have a bite like you see. Yeah, 63. Yeah, 63, exactly 63. Number three, Xander. Two to go. Yeah. Good, good. Good job, Luke. Good teamwork, good teamwork. I think we have to go like this. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then I have also something to do then. Yeah. Uh, Remember when they follow, don't just uh, no, I know, a no. bit. A little bit. But like, like the bait fish is scared of the yeah. fish or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's a good trick. I keep going and you can get the hooks off the net. Fish. Very nice. Whew. Okay, this is number two. Took a few more minutes. Number two. Whew. 54, huh? Yeah. 54. Second fish of the day for Quantum Angel Spesi, and so far they are the only team in the Netherlands who have actually caught something. They are well-known vertical masters and it's not a big surprise that they are performing well today. CWC fishing team have fished for more than two hours but still haven't had a single bite. We have some problems finding the fish because you, you can see the fish on the hummingbirds but they are not active. We see the bait fish, we see the fish around it but it's not active. Well, they won't strike our lures. I use the Astro Vibe like in vertical jigging and I use this one as a surge bait and we do jigging jigging until we get strikes then stop the jigging and then we'll do the casting perfect drop yeah. perfect drop whoa, whoa, whoa. come on oh, 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 oh. He, he checked it out <laughs> he had a look didn't like what oh he... Jesus that was a big I think it is a. Well, it could be a 90. Ah, he completely f***ed off. Jesus. A bit spooky today. Yeah, they are. The temperature drop, they are. They're completely difficult today. Coming, coming, coming. Strike! Come on. Oh, chasing it, chasing it. Yes! <laughs> now we take the net. Yeah. Not, a, not a big fish, but we need to be sure. We need to get them all. Good job, my friend. Boom! Boom. <laughs> 69. Small one, 69 centimeter. Yesterday it would have been our top fish. Today. This is, the just, first this is just the first one. <laughs> Good job, my friend. Okay, let's go on. Okay. Sorry for the quick release, but we have to continue. Catch some numbers now. If you find a group of uh, bigger fish around in the, the pelagic zone, they like to be together, like four or five big ones. So if you find them, just try and stay in the area and look around. Also, if you do generally river fishing or whatever, if you catch one big fish, Especially uh, if they are getting like above 90 centimeters, it's always two, three big ones very close together. So continue fishing right away. I found a really huge sander on the sonar and I'm now circling around because I just found another one close by. And now we try to find them back, but they are sometimes swimming and migrating very quickly. Big sanders can swim easily 20, 20 kilometers a day, 30 kilometers a day, that's no problem for them. So they're really quickly on, on the road sometimes. It's not like a, uh, a fish that is staying in a territory. Not at all. As always, we start pretty late. Yes, but today we started later than the time we could actually start, so we lose yeah. one hour. The thing is, the camera guy needs to be in the cabin for eight hours, and uh, we came home really late. Yeah, because we had a really long ride. Yeah, and we were super tired. Yeah. But now we are on the way to the first spot, soon, and uh, we really don't know, like we know what to do, but we have been thinking a lot. 
Should we go for numbers or should we try the big ones or just upgrade or how many points do we have? Yeah. But I think we can't go for numbers here. No. And, uh, and we don't have any good spot for numbers. No. So we need to go for the big ones. Yes. And we think, we think, we're not sure, absolutely not sure, but we think we might have three points. And we think that fish has two points and then we get another point today for the numbers. For numbers. And then the other teams has three points to share. Yeah. And we know that Abe can get three points and Team Vestin can get three points. We don't know that Abe can get three points, no. but we think they could can get because the first day they could have caught the biggest one. Yes. And then if they catch the biggest one today and the five biggest, because they're really good in pelagic, it's possible, it would be a draw. Yes. So I think it's important that we uh, fill up the five biggest one today to improve it a bit, because in a situation of a draw, the five biggest one of the whole tournament per team counts. So this is really important and I think the one and a half hour we have in the night time again. Yes. I think this is our time. Let's go to the spot and let's catch some fish. Absolutely. And the thing is, we could also get a point today, but all the other teams are probably doing Pilladic and then it's real hard, I think, for us to catch yeah. a bigger one. But of course you can be lucky and catch a meter, uh, Sandra, again. <coughs> I don't think it will happen, but maybe like a 90 centimeter is absolutely not impossible here. No, I caught it in pre-fishing. Yes. So if so we catch like a 90 or a 990, we could absolutely get a big fish point today. Yeah. But I do not believe we can get the top five points. No, I don't think so either. Let's go, Toby. Yes. Toby and Dustin were quite right in their predictions. They already have three points secured from the first two days, and if any of the other teams would end up with the same number of points, the one of them with the highest combined top five over all three days will be given a draw point and win the whole competition. Now, CWC fishing team are finally hooked up to their first fish of the day. Come team, come team, come team. Yeah. Yes! Hopefully it's 45 centimeters. No. But it will be tricky. No! <laughs> 44 and a half. <laughs> half a centimeter too short. But it's the first Sunday of this morning. Oh. And gone he is. <sighs> oh man, hours of grinding and when you finally get that bite, it's half a centimeter too short. The thing with fishing in the Netherlands is that there are always other anglers close by. One of them was the Dutch YouTuber Daniel Weyers, who is a dear friend of Tobias and Dustin. And when he saw Evert netting that fish, of course, he gave them a call. Hey Daniel, how are you? Hey Dustin, yeah I'm good man. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. We already said thank you to you yesterday in the video for giving us a really good spot. Nice. That was really crazy. I think I see your competition right here. Yeah, who? Yeah, Evert. Evert, yeah, he's fishing. Where are you? We, we are like, we are like uh, 200, 200, 300 meters uh, away from him. But we see, uh, we see him fishing. You can so say hello fishing. from, you can say hello from <laughs> Toby and Dustin. <laughs> yes, David. Uh, he's still fishing. Yeah, I can fly my drone there. Have you seen yeah. them catching them or something? Yeah, yeah. Big one. Uh, they. No, I, they, they they used a the net. I'm not sure if it was big, but they used the net. Okay, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably, probably above 45. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's possible. And I hope you're gonna do good today. So, good luck and, and thank you, tonight, man. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we will do it. Get some big ones. We'll do it. All then. right. You <laughs> Well, it was almost 45 centimeters at least. Evert and Leon are fishing a big fish spot and they still know there are huge fish patrolling these hooks. Yes! What a take! Thick it hook! That was a really thick it hook! Okay, easy on, easy on. Yeah, 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 Come on. What a strike, what a strike. What lure? Uh, on the tumbler, the brown, brown pearl. A brown, oh f pike. Normally I will say, yeah, what a nice fish. But now I'm fishing Zander Pro. Shit. <sighs> hey. Oh, this is not, so not our day. You're green, you're green. Friend, but not today. It's a nice, healthy pike. But we need a Zander. Really, we need to Zander. Somebody is punishing us. I had us. On, the, on the brown gold uh, sparks uh, tumbler. 
Oh. 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 Bye bye. Now it's perfect. Come in. Come on. It's a strike. Ah. <laughs> ah. Close call again. <laughs> Big fish. Come on. Oh, that the... was a really decent one, huh? Yeah. The big ones are really slowly approaching. Yeah, as, as Timo said, the big sanders, they are really uh, approaching the baits very slowly because the tactics that sanders have, they are sneaking up to the bait fish. So when the bait fish are hang hanging in the water, the big sanders sneak up from underneath and they expect that the, that the prey is not detecting the sanders. So they, the, the bait fish is just here in the water, just hanging out. The sanders come up very close from underneath and then they just swallow it. So they, they never come really quick, the big ones. They're always approaching slowly. Because that's a tactic. Oh. Oh, if, if you that's see what a they're fish, good at. If you see a fish quickly uh, approaching, it's often a pike. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it perfectly on the live side. When the fish is slowly approaching, as Freddy said, they often you see that the fish is first, first like horizontally, and then it's dropping, and then it's striking. So this movement from horizontal to dropping is perfectly seen. You can perfectly see it, see it on the on the sonar on the live side. And when, when the fish is dropping, that's the time where you need to get ready because that's the, the striking time. And then you need to be ready to set the hook. Fish! Good. Macht einen guten Eindruck. A good fish. Yeah. It's a good one. Bam! Great! Whew. I take care, you see. You take care? Yeah. Okay, dokie. All right. Have also a fish. Next fish coming. Okay, here we go. So we have two fish together. Did he come now? Look, this is fishing. This is what we like. Double That's strike. Right. Yeah, but we not have time Good to job. talk so much. <laughs> and again, 59 centimeters. 52. Good job, um, you Patrick. Too. We need to uh, get them back. We have no four fish. Yeah. Okay, we are happy now. We have four fish. The time is good, so everything can happen today, and we will start again. That was really crazy. I helped uh, Patrick out while my lure was more or less like a dead rod hanging in the water, and then all of a sudden, I just saw the tip doing this, and a fish. That's great. That looks like a really weird combination. It's a um, fireball, Mr. Pike. Jig head because I really need a 50 gram heavy weight up front. I cut off the hook. I just glued um, a nice Q peddler 15 centimeter together with a 13 centimeter Q fish. Made a larger bait out of it, a passive bait, a V tail bait. Put two triple hooks on, and these triple hooks are the claw triples. A very nice combination. Hopefully, gets another one. Ah, turning, turning. Fish team up. Yeah. Ready for the net. Ready. Yeah. Nice. All right. Another one for the list. Sick Wampa again. Slowly up. And then he took it. But not instantly. You had to like trick the fish a little bit. Sick Wampa. Nice fish. Look, there's Dustin coming. <laughs> no, He's over there. I think it's him? No. Yeah, I think it's him. Anyway, third fish, not a big one, but at least we catch a few. Nice. Yeah, that's Dustin. <laughs> Team Nace. Team Nace Again. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah. 64. second sander of the day for Aubrey Garcia Berkeley. They're sitting in fourth place on the top five board, but their average is good, so I'm sure they'll be dangerous later on. And yes, it was Toby and Dustin blasting by on their way to another spot in the same lake. 
It's soon 12 o'clock so they have missed out on 2 hours of fishing, but I think the 101cm sander and Dom Papa were worth it. There's still 2 hours of fishing left of this episode and it will be exciting to see if they will catch something. Ah, oh, it smells good. Garlic. I get hungry if I smell this. Then you're not a vampire. No, I'm not. First cast and I will not be waiting for you because we still like, I must start immediately. But we have seen a lot of thunder here on the sonar, so I think it will be good. All right, time for the 12 o'clock report. We have two fish in the boat. We uh, we need to hammer and get some more numbers. Yeah, Freddy, and, big, what and we, big ones. And big ones. Because I think the Finnish team, uh, Luke and Hanuf in uh, Finland, they are really catching big fish in this lake that they are fishing. It's uh, crazy over there, I think. Be. And uh, could be, yeah. And the other teams, I don't think that they are fishing pelagic, to be honest. Uh, oh. Maybe the guys, Team Fish in, uh, in uh, Spain. Mm, hard to say, yeah. Hard to say. But if it's going to be big fish, I think uh, Team Western is very dangerous for us. Quantum, uh, I think they are river fishing. Probably river fishing. Dietmar, uh, probably vertical, vertical fishing. Yeah, vertical fishing. And uh, yeah, we have to just step up with the big fish. We, because we have them here, we see them on the sonar, we get them up to the bait. But the last piece, uh, the biting part, this yeah. is the one that is missing. And They're not striking, no? Yeah, not striking. It's no, no, no biting period yet. So we have them, we find a fish, I would say, like every 10 minutes. They are looking at the bait and then they go down. And usually big fish, has a, they have a small like period when they bite. Let's see if we get lucky. The rain is still pouring down in Spain, but that doesn't seem to stop the sanders from eating. They're attacking the mud digger as if it was their last meal, and Stefan and Tony are adding fish after fish to the scoreboard. Number 19 with the mud digger. It's so cool. Big bite. Boom. 19 approved sanders already. Just incredible. They are also holding the top 5 points of the day, but both Team Vestin and Quantum Angel Spesi are only one decent sander behind. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Now we have a chance. Go! Yep, enough. enough. It's coming, yeah. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Yep, it's coming, it's coming. Be ready. Yep, little bitch, little bitch, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. oh, I almost missed it with the net. <laughs> this was close, this was close. But we have it, we have it. Oh. It's not a huge one, but it's number four. This, this fish was in the middle of the, of the water. This was about, uh, it's four and a half meter. This was only two meter deep. So when I striked, he was right away in the surface. Yep, yeah, maybe 60. Maybe. 60, yeah. Let's check it. 63. 63. Not too bad. With that fish, Team Vestin just reached the same top 5 score as Rodhouse Fish, with only 4 sanders on the board. Crazy stuff. Look, look at this. He's mean. He's really mean. Beautiful fish. Ah. Oh shit. For this style of fishing, we use a heavy lead head. It's about 40, 50 gram. A big lure, a big 20s in this case. And for this heavy fishing, you can also use a jerkbait rod. This is a jerkbait rod, 130 gram. It's quite stiff, but you need it because when the sender takes the lure, they really hold it. So you have to set the hook very hard. The W6 jerkbait rod is also one of my favorite rods for jerkbait fishing, for pike. So you can use it for several things. We would need live bait now, Toby. Warm. Fish! Not a big one. Not. It's not big. But still. But it's a fish. The first one. It's approved. Yeah, nice bait. First fish of episode 5 for Team Nays. Well done. I think it's 55. Not the size we had yesterday, but still. Gives us some confidence to have the first fish. It's 55. Good. I release it real quick. First one for today. Bye bye. Okay.
The hard one? Big one? No. But I think it's approved. Not super big, but maybe 60 if we're lucky. Good. Well, fish is fish. It's approved. Another 55 or something. If everyone's going pelagic and uh, we get some numbers here, we might get the number point yeah, if we're really I, lucky. It would be good, but I think fish is still doing the numbers. Yes. 53. Very good. I'll put it back and continue the fishing. Two quick ones for Team Nace. Small, but it's a start. Now Dietmar is hooked up to their fifth approved fish. That's a good one. We need the net. It's not huge, but it's a nice fish. Okay, Patrick, that was a very nice fish. Can happen. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit happens, <laughs> but okay. Um, you get some, you lose some, we make another drift. What you see is right, not to see. <sighs> gone. Fish gone? Good fish. Again gone. Good strike, bang, and gone with the wind. You get some, you lose some. Oh, please cut. Uh, one strike, but only tuck. Oh, I lost him. Again, nice fish. I saw him grabbing my lure, but only a back. A dry, hard strike, <sighs> but no fish. Astro vibe for perch. Wrong episode. That's a really nice fish. <laughs> You'll be very happy. <laughs> 44? 44. 44 centimeter. Nice. But again, this is Zender Pro. Wrong episode, my friend. Wrong episode. See you at Perch Pro. How long? Yes. How long? I had this one. Is, this is a good one. I had pike. Oh, I lost it. Huh? I lost it. Fuck. That was a good one. I had pike, Toby. Maybe I had pike as well. That was a good bite and a good rod band. Oh. Let's continue. That was really a good fish. But I didn't do anything wrong or anything. I did a good hook set and I fought it hard. Sometimes you lose them. That's how it is. You think it was a big one, Toby? 70 plus, maybe more. How much? It was at minimum 70 plus. You think it was 70 plus? Yes, yes, it was big. So it was, if it was hooked proper, it was for sure 70 plus. It's incredible how they disappear. Mm. There's another good fish under my bait now. Now you should see the bait. I'm right over the fish. Come on. Wake up. Yeah, he sees the bait. He's coming up now. Slowly getting, very slowly. And bye bye. You cannot do anything. You cannot do anything. I mean, you can do a lot. You can change colors, you can change movement with the bait. But at the very end, if you tried all this and they are still not biting, that's just they are no biting period. And you just have to go on and fish and fish and fish until you get this little window of activity. It's not worth to give up. They are here. Keep it there. Keep it. Keep it. And now drop, 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 drop. Yep. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yep. Oh, it's off, it's off. It's off. Oh. Did feel heavy. It was good fish. 80. You just gotta love the struggle. Without it, the highs would never be as high. I don't like to lose a fish. Shit, man. Ah. 
No, it's okay. Let's go try new one. But uh, there's still action. Yep. Still action. Fish! But he got him. He got him. Very good. Number five. You got the fish. I lost him and you got him. Okay. Not big, but it's yours, Patrick. Thank you. Okay, you take care. And I, I go ahead with fishing. Yeah. How much? Exactly 45.5. Hmm. Uh, 40, yeah, 45.5. He liked the spring one very much. The bait complete inside. It's almost two o'clock and we're soon about to wrap up this episode. Team Quantum Angelspesi finally filled up their paper with five approved sanders, but despite that, they're not passing Roadhouse Fish or even Vestine, who only have four fish on the board. One more fish for Vestine though, and they will definitely kick the French team off the shared point. Drop, drop, a bit, a bit, a bit. Yep, it's coming. Yep. Yeah, you can lift it. Yeah. <laughs> now we have full paper. Good. <laughs> this one. Yeah. It's bigger than the ones from yesterday. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Number five. And this is a small one for Pelagic. 51. 51. Yeah, 51. 51. Number five. 51. At least we have the big five. Yep. Now it's upgraded. Team Abu Garcia Berkeley have two decent fish on the board and now Freddy is hooked up again. Oh, that's a decent fish. Nice. So, second fish. And let's keep fishing to get the numbers. So, 68 centimeter, 60, 68 centimeter. Okay. So, next fish, Timo. Team Roadhouse Fish lost the top 5 point to Vestine a while ago, but now Stefan has an upgrade on the hook. Woo! Woo! Finally! It's a nice one. 66. Yeah. With the, the mud digger. Yes. Oh! They are here. Good job. Yeah! Number 27.27. Mad action for Stefan and Tony. 27 fish caught so far, and the Sanders are still slamming the mud diggers really hard. Fish! Yes, fish! Very lucky, uh, lucky descent. Good job. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, so nice one! Ooh. Yes! Wow! Oh, look! A, a crow. Look, what? a crow. Look, he eat crow. Look, he eat for me the crow. Look at this, good one. Yeah, yeah. Look at this beauty. Woo, sixty-nine. Yeah. Okay. It's now two o'clock and time to call it an episode. Despite the crazy action by Rodhouse Fish, they didn't reach the top five of Team Vestin. But at least they got to finish off the episode by a great double. Those are some absolutely stunning looking sanders. Motherfucker, why is he doing that? It's not supposed to drive here. Look at that fall. Okay. As you can see, we have big waves today as well. That's... Bro. Come here. <laughs> That's <laughs> it for episode 5. <laughs> we caught two fish. Yeah, not that much, but you lost You lost the big one. Yes, I did. But as you know from the previous days, the daytime is not our time. No. We're creature of the night. But yeah, but to be honest, I have the feeling we could manage to catch a big one now because you had it online, yes. you just lost it. Then we have seen a lot of uh, big ones on the zone yeah. So, see you in episode 6. We will keep on hammering and we hope we will win this thing. Push. Yeah, yeah, really hope. Let's keep on fishing, Toby. And then at the night we catch a big one. This is the end of episode number 5. We have 5 fish on the scoreboard. Patrick, 
what we have to do? We must have the upgrade. We have five fish, that's correct, but we can, must have a five bigger one. This is a very nice place and we want to start so forth. I can only say, don't miss the final episode of Zender Pro. We got three fish only, uh, 201 centimeter, the three together. It's really tough, but in the next session, some hopefully better fishing is uh, incoming for us. We really need to to uh, to get some good fish later on. Yeah, we need to step up. For sure. It's difficult fishing, really, I have to say. Not easy. But that's that's what we got. Let's I think the, the other teams the uh, struggle as well. So yeah, for sure. They must struggle. Worry. It's, it's, it's tough for everyone. Definitely in the Netherlands, that's for sure. End of episode five. Well, for me, Again, disappointing because we can't find the zenders. This is one of my best spots for zenders, this lake. And we fished all morning on my favorite spot. Normally, no problem to catch any zenders, but I don't know what's wrong. I never blame the fish, so it's all about us, but we can't find the decent zenders. We, we caught pike, pike. Perch, also zander, yeah, but small ones. But small ones. But uh, hey, we keep on hammering, and I hope you guys, uh, we can show you guys. <laughs> Stay tuned <laughs> in episode six for uh, a couple of decent senders. Keep supporting us, thumbs up, and uh, see you next week. So we have a full cart, five fish. And uh, it's the end of uh, episode 5, so quite happy, not happy enough, we need to upgrade. Small, small fish is uh, 51, uh, the biggest is uh, 79, we need some bigger fish for the next episode. So see you in the next episode, it's the final one, so very sure you watch it. Okay guys, so the, the weather is so bad, uh, there is a storm, we need to, to stop fishing. Uh, safety first, like yesterday, but fishing was not so bad. It was a crazy day. Uh, we had a lot of bites with vertical fishing with Tony. It was crazy and we caught 35 zanders. It's awesome. So um, see you next week because the, uh, the day is not ended and we will catch more. So bye bye. But uh, it's not a crazy day for my socks. Yeah, wait, <laughs> but it's a game. A bad day to be a sock, but a great day to be a sander fisherman. That was some crazy action. We're now halfway into the final day of Sander Pro, and I can't wait till next week when the winning team will be crowned. So far, Team Roadhouse Fish are leading by a landslide with 35 approved sanders, while Team Vestine are holding both the top five and the big fish point of the final day. Thank you all for watching. My name is Mille Pettersson and you have been watching Sander Pro. We're gonna stand up